Hey everybody, Steve here and welcome to video seven in my series of how to build a drone for the absolute beginner. To do a recap of all the previous six videos would probably take five minutes. So please do me a favor, look in the description of this video and you will see all of the other videos that preceded this. This series is intended for the absolute beginner, somebody who is so new to the hobby, they don't have the faintest idea where to even start. So as you can tell, we've gotten pretty far. In this video, we are going to calibrate the ESCs. We're going to take a look at BL Heli so that we can flash our ESC firmware. And then we're going to do another video after that where we go back into Betaflight and we select our modes. Then we're going to do a little bit of fine tuning and troubleshooting, and then we are going to be ready to fly. Okay, so in this video, we are going to do a step called calibrating the ESCs. And this is basically just a step where we're teaching the ESCs what the full throttle range is. So take your quad and get it connected to USB, and we're going to jump into beta flight. Okay, so at this point, we want to have your battery disconnected, uh, but go ahead and plug the USB in so that we can connect with beta flight and go ahead and select connect. All right. Next thing that we are going to do is we're going to go over to motors and we're going to select it. And anytime we're on the motors page, we want to take a look at our quad and we're going to want to make sure that the propellers are off because there's a thing called uncommanded motor start. And that's where the motors spin up for God knows what reason, generally not us. And that's usually when we end up in the emergency room bleeding. So absolutely positively make sure that you do not have your props on. See these cute little flags? Well, these cute little flags are there because in the last video, we used them to determine whether the motors were spinning the right way or not. And these Sunny Sky motors have some sharp edges to them, so you don't want to just stick your finger up to the side. So that's the reason for the flags. All right, safety first at all times. This is what we're going to do next. We're going to bounce back to beta flight, and we're going to go ahead and check this right here. And now keep in mind, we're saying that we understand the risks, okay? Now, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take the master and we're going to want to send it all the way up to the top. Now, your ESCs are smart enough to realize that when they get plugged in and the throttle is all the way at the top, they're smart enough to go into programming mode. So that's, you're going to hear some tones where the ESCs are telling you that they recognize where the throttle is and that they need to go into programming mode. All right, that was the acknowledgement. And now we are going to bring the slider down, which is going to give us another acknowledgement. And there, now calibrated. So unplug the battery. And now let's go ahead and understanding the risks, of course, plug the battery back in. And now let's spin up the motors and hopefully they'll all start spinning at the same time. Pretty good. At this point, our ESCs are successfully calibrated. There's really no more that we need to do with this step. Unplug the battery. Now, for those of you who are interested in getting the absolute positive, best, latest state of the art firmware for your ESCs, we're gonna use a piece of software called BL Heli and we're going to flash the firmware in our ESCs. All right, that's going to do it for video seven. I appreciate you watching. Stick around for video eight, where we're going to go into BL Heli and we're going to flash our ESCs. And depending on how long that takes, uh, our next step is to set up our flight modes and our arm switch. And then we will be ready to take this thing out for our first hover. So thanks again for watching. See you in the next video.